Today is New Year's Eve 2023 and Jesse and I didn't have any plans for today so we were talking about what should we do and we came up with doing what we love to do the most which is Goodwill shopping. I thought we were meeting up with Ryan Seacrest oh my God. and we were gonna thrift Times Square. No. No? We're not thrifting Times Square. I don't think you can thrift Times Square first of all and second of all. Sorry babe. I hate to disappoint you but that's not happening. Okay. Instead, we're going to hang out with all of you, and we're going to go thrifting. It's New Year's Eve, so happy New Year's Eve. 2023 has been amazing. I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video because it's been a really good and amazing year. We are excited to spend New Year's Eve with you, and let's go see if we can find some awesome things because we want to end this year on a good thrifting high. Look at the baby. baby the mother oh. and father. I didn't see. This is like a little baby. Got some home essentials. No, but I actually really like that. Look at the, the ribbed. That's actually cool. gorgeous. I can get behind some home essentials. It's made in Portugal. Why is it microwave safe? Dishwa it's a dishwasher safe? And oven safe. Like, what are you going to get a bake a lasagna in here or something? <laughs> That's so bizarre. They were like, let's just cover all the bases. Right. They were like, we're going to just be like all of it. They can microwave do whatever they want safe. with it. <laughs> Next time I like make instant oatmeal, I'm going to use this thing. Um, I but like it. I don't even think this would fit in a microwave. No, but imagine how gorgeous that's going to look with a plant in it. It's got kind of a matte finish and a little tiny bit of the, almost like the lava glaze, but not, not extreme, just like enough texture. It is unpriced. So we're going to find we'll out what the price out. is. Yeah. It is made in Portugal, which makes it Portuguese. 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 Portuguese pottery. Portuguese pottery made in Portugal. This is cute. It's also a modern piece, but you think that's from Justina Blakeney at Target? I feel like it looks really similar to some of her stuff. Justina works at Target? No, she has a whole line at Target and they're amazing. All of her designs are kind of inspired from her travels around the world. I'm a big fan, big fan. But I'm curious because this looks very similar to some of the stuff I've seen. That doesn't look like a Target. Ooh, something Thomas made in China. Mm. The unveiling. <laughs> no. I'm so, Slowly. What's dramatic. it going to be? What's it going to be? Show homes. Show homes. 03741. Mm. I feel like that's an inventory tag for something called show homes. Okay. Like maybe this was like a display piece in some model home or something. Maybe. I see collection but right there. This so is it's, not, it's like home collection. Yeah, this is Either way, it's, it's great design. 299 green. Half off color this it's week here is yellow, right? Yeah. Yep. Yellow. I'm not going to get it, but it is kind of kind of pretty. I like it. I'm all for good design even if it's new. Oh my gosh, look at all the lime. These are my new penguin ice bucket, babe. Yeah. Also, I would have loved those when I was 12. I love orcas. They are cool. $3.99. No, no, they reproduce these. Um, are these, look, oven safe, microwave safe, dishwashers. I mean, at least that makes a little more sense. <laughs> yeah, this is not a face. <laughs> But yeah, I've been seeing these little line things ever since we saw them in France. It's so funny how everything just follows you. Oh, look at this piece of pottery. That's kind of pretty. Oh, it's got a big cracked arm. It's like a little canister by D. Scott. D. Scott, $7.99, half off because it's yellow, but it's got chips up here, chips down there. That's too bad. It's hard with these canisters because, you know, as you put things back in and take things out, so many times and they tend to get chipped often. Oh, this is a mid century piece. It's a little gravy boat. Franciscan earthenware. $3.99. That's a good deal. It doesn't have the ladle that it probably would have come with, but that's a good deal. We're going to get that one. What? I've never seen food at Goodwill before. $2.99. 
feel like that's a good deal, actually. I feel like it, this would be four forty nine. Yeah, Jesse's really bad. He would lose the prices right. Oh, I would win the prices right. Worst the prices right. <laughs> Ooh, those are beautiful bowls. Who are those by? Those are gorgeous. We like these bowls. Ooh, two ninety nine. I think it's for the set because those are in a two ninety nine for a pair. And that means only one fifty. Yeah, set of, set of two. But oh, we're definitely getting yeah. those. Those are beautiful bowls. Yeah, they've been here since December thirteenth, and no one's bought them. Why? Because twelve thirty. They're half off. They're yellow too. But why would nobody buy these? They're beautiful. Do you think that's West German stamp on the bottom? Those numbers? I don't. I don't know. We're gonna do some research, and I'll pop in some info if we found out anything on these beautiful bowls. Either way, they're great, and I think we're gonna put those in our kitchen. Maybe, Maybe he says. Maybe. I could eat out of them. Could you eat out of them? I think they're a really good size. Yogurt, cereal. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Ooh, let's look and see if they have any more of that. Are they microwave safe? <laughs> we don't know. We know this is. We can microwave stuff in this and then put it in there just to be safe. These are kind of fun. There's lots of different colors. Like the yellow, some purple down there. What? <gasps> and this is why you always look because look. Oh, that one has a chip shoot. All right. I mean, that's pretty small. I could fill that in. There's large ones too. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. We should find out what it all. is before we buy the whole set. I mean, I'm gonna get it either way, but I will find out what it is. Yes. Let's get the two big ones and not the two small ones. Yeah, because we drink big cups of yep, coffee. Yep, we drink. Although there are more. Oh, now there's more. Okay, I'm gonna Google image this and see if I can figure out what they are real quick. That might help me determine whether I get additionals maybe to sell. These are gonna be our nice big coffee mugs at home. Okay, check out what we just found. These are plastic, they're colorful, they got hibiscus flowers. They're only 99 cents each, and we're gonna get them for our tiki party. These will be great for kids too, cause they're not glass. We have a lot of tiki mugs that the adults use, but I typically don't put those out for the kids. So these will be really fun for the kids. That's pretty nice. I actually like how worn it is, but it's like evenly worn. It's pretty, $2.99. Yeah, I like it. Going for it? Yep, we're going for it. Put it in the cart. We're looking for the plates right now. See if we can find anything that matches those mugs and bowls. I don't see any. You don't either. That's okay. I'm a mixed match person anyways. These are kind of nice though. They're like bowl plates. I already got some of those though. Okay, that's funny because when we were walking in and I was filming the clip of Jesse, he's like, don't show anybody my shoes. I'm, Be showing, I'm showing him the shoes. No. He's embarrassed of his shoes because they're, dirty, they're yeah. his dirty, dirty outside shoes for at home and he forgot to switch them out. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you need one of these to save up for some shoes. <laughs> I love seeing what you pick up. It's It makes me happy. It's got a story to tell. He probably does. Is that nativity scene? Half off. What's that say? Frida, maybe? Hmm. I think it's too. Uh, you think he's a, a wise man? Looks wise. He does. <laughs> he's got the look. I became obsessed with snow globes on my recent trip. So now, whenever I see them, I want to see what they where they're from. Oh my gosh! It's Multnomah Falls. It's Oregon. See, we don't even have to leave our beautiful state to find something worthy of a snow globe. 19.99 original price. 9.99 half off. We'll just go see the real thing though. This is kind of cute. It's just Bath and Body Works, but seashells are so in right now. And I'm assuming this is a little soap dish. It's kind of cute. Kind of nice design. That looks vintage. I'm not really? a big- That looks vintage? It I looks think... like it's from the 99 cent store. <laughs> it's from the 99 cent store? I don't know, the hobnail design's pretty popular in the day. 4.99, half off. Now we need to know. Gotta Google it legit. Gotta find out if it's vintage. Okay, I Googled it and I think it's Fenton. I'm not positive. Does that change your perspective? I mean, I don't really know much about Fenton, so. Oh, oh, it went in the really... cart. It went in the cart. Well, it sounded like you wanted it. No, I don't really care one way or another. I'm not a huge. I mean, let's. let's... What are you gonna do? What are we gonna do? Well, we would sell it, but. What is that? Chip. Hmm. We're gonna pass on it. 
but I like that some of the um, images online also had it as a salt cellar, which you know I love my salt, so I think that'd be so cute to have this set out on a table with salt in it. Very cute, but we'll leave it for someone else to get. What is it? A projector? Okay. Oh yeah, it says overhead projector. overhead projector. That's cool. I actually have a lot of uh, film on slides. My mom used to do it. Well, that wouldn't be what this is for. It's to display it, right? No, it's for transparency stuff. Like, oh. When I was in elementary school, my teacher would use it a lot. So we'd have like, instead of like a blackboard, uh -huh. she would be writing here and it would project no way. her stuff on the they should still do that. That's Screen. great technology. Well, one thing you can do with these, you can print something on a transparency, uh -huh. and then you can use this to project it on a wall, and you can trace the outlines on the uh -huh. wall, so you could like paint a design on the wall or something. Oh, that's cool. It's kind of cool. Man, I missed out being homeschooled. Your mom didn't have an overhead projector? <laughs> no, she had, a, she had a one for film. Oh. <laughs> but not that. I am not going to get these because they're a newer production and I don't have anything missing glass. But this is an example of how you can get glass. I mean, this is beveled and it's only $4.99 for the base and the glass. So if you have a coffee table or something and it's just missing a piece of glass that you don't need a very specific size, great way to do it on a budget. Look what I just found. Look at this. I saw that. What is it? It looks like an awesome vintage coat that has almost bathrobe vibes, but in a good way. It's a short bathrobe. It is a short bathrobe. It's just got the vibes. <laughs> I love it. It's real wool. It's gorgeous. The stripes, it's only $14.99. Definitely going to get that. I don't think it's going to fit me because it's a medium and the shoulder width. I got broad shoulders, but that's going to come to the shop. Adolf Schumann. Schumann for Lillian. Oh my gosh, was this made specifically for Lillian? Wore this? That is so sweet if that's. I don't think so. Oh, Lillian's like a brand to me. Probably. It's half off, $5. It's beautiful fabric. Here's another vintage skirt. I love these. I wish more people would wear them. I like the pleated look. I like the colors. Well, you get them. You think so? Thank you. Good. They're size small. Ooh, that one's 20, 20, 20. I bet it's Pendleton, that's why. Everybody yeah, knows, yeah. yeah, Pendleton. Everybody knows that. Pendleton. So let's pass on the Pendleton, because, oh, sorry, can you get that for This me? one's half off again. Yeah, let's get the half off, because I like that one better anyways, because it's very 70s. I love it. Okay. The colors are great. We'll get that one. Let's look if there's any other ones. I'm still in Christmas mode. Oh my gosh, these are shorts. I should have worn that at the Christmas markets. Look how funny that would have been. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody had a pleated skirt collection. So does this mean that what somebody donated? Shorts? Those are fantastic. These are Pendleton. Those are so great. Look how wide they are. That look is so great. I feel like Nicole Kidman could wear those and look awesome in them. I don't know why. I keep knocking all these off. Sorry. No, it's, it's just a thing I do. Um, I wonder <laughs> if somebody too. couldn't sell them and that's no, why they're here. I think somebody had collection. This one's incredible. This is Pendleton too. Oh, is that one 30 also? I think we had a stylish librarian and a stylish yeah. like a oh. school teacher. They lived a good life I bet. Although they don't look very worn. I'm digging these though. And these are $19.99 but I'm digging the shorts. The no they're green. They're so itty bitty though. Those are so fun. These with like a pair of black loafers. Get them? All right, size small people, I got you. What else we got, what else we got? This is fun, because I honestly don't take a look at the clothing the majority of the time, because I'm focused and on a mission and looking for home decor. Probably miss a lot of really neat things. Oh, that's pretty. Not quite, it's almost pretty. A Little bit of Johnny Was vibes. Forbidden Los Angeles. There's a lot of vintage clothing in this Goodwill. Definitely gonna be coming back. It's it's a little trek, but it's worth it when you find good stuff. This has a really pretty pattern with the blue flowers. It's new. <laughs> Can you help me again? I don't know why I always pull yeah. them down. Yeah, it's fine. 
She says, I've always done this. Every time I touch clothes, this is why I don't shop with clothes. Every time I touch something, you it just falls off. It. <laughs> I mean, I always fix it, but yes, I make a mess for sure. It's kind of how I'm at home. I get home and it's just like chaos. Vintage comes out of the car and fills up the whole house. This is silk. That's me. What are you? What are you? It just says dry clean in it. $9.99 today and it's 100% silk and I wanted red to be my accent color for our Japan trip and so I think that that would be perfect because we got a layer so I like the length on it. That'll be fun to wear with some tights. So excited. Man, we are doing good today at this Goodwill. This is exciting. Exploding. Good first stop. Not a normal thing for us. No, that's not a normal thing for our Goodwill. So this is definitely it's not a normal thing for us to buy. That's true too, but I feel like most of our Goodwills um, are just heavily, heavily picked over for the vintage clothing. Now I want to see if they've got any cool corduroy pants because that's another thing I've been wanting. It's vintage corduroy. Those are new. This is a really good brand of silk scarf. It's got a really pretty design on it with the flowers. Let's see how much it is. $2.99. We're getting that. All right, we're calling it with this Goodwill. We are gonna check out and head off to the next store. We had an amazing time in there. We got a lot of things. We spent a total of $89.75. Are we out of focus? Yes, yeah, cart full. We got a cart full. We got clothes, which you don't see me buy very often. I don't typically take the time. Um, I'm usually like, go, 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 go. And I'm just looking for jewelry and pottery and the things that I sell the most of in my shop. Excited about that coat, even though it's not gonna fit me. I'm really excited for whoever is gonna get that coat. The robe coat? Yeah, the robe, the bathrobe inspired coat. I thought I was gonna wear it around the house. No, you're not. Your shoulders definitely, we both have really broad shoulders. So like if we're in an airplane together, it's not good. Yeah. Usually I'll take the window because I like to see out the window. I love the view. And so I'll kind of go like this. There's no way it's going to fit you. <laughs> Anyways, that was Save awesome. Save the end of the episode when I put on the bathrobe. No. See, now you promised them. So now you have to. <laughs> <putting it> <laughs> All right, we're off to the next store. Where are we going? Do we know? We are going to Oregon City. Yes, I love Oregon City. We're going to go to Super Thrift in okay. Oregon City. We have a jingle for that. Come on down to the super thrift and get thrifty with us. Is that a leather footstool? If that's real leather, I might be interested. No, oh my. It has like office chair wheels on it. Nope. That's too bad, that would have been cute. I think she did want us to find her card tables. Samsonite? Samsonite makes card tables? Oh well, yeah, that's the leading maker of card tables. Are you dead serious? Are you dead serious? Is that you their... didn't know that? No, I thought you they made the luggage. The Samsonite card tables? No. Oh. Really? That's weird. I thought everyone Sometimes he knew. messes with me and I don't know if he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> 1999. Um, no, I really thought Samsonite was just luggage. That's funny. We play a lot of games with our family and we have a very large family. So card tables are very expensive to buy new ones and they're plastic and not the old metal. That was a good year for card tables. tables. 93. <laughs> 93. It's a good year for card tables. Now I know. Now I know. I do like the round ones the best, but okay, maybe I'll text a picture to my cousin to see if they want it. They have so much furniture here. All of the stores do. I don't know. Oak and fake wood. Faux wood. Yeah, it's not good. Nice, simple, clean lines, but not digging the top. If you're looking for a desk, this is a good place. They always seem to have a lot of desks. Those are kind of cute. This is a nice furniture piece, this shutter, $59.99. It's got a little roll-out desk. The door 
markers are a little wonky though. wonky handle. It's definitely a handmade piece. What's that say? Brian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it says Brian. Brian is something. That crack probably mm -hmm. is not a good thing. Yeah, that probably goes all the way through. <laughs> My finger's I stuck. My finger's stuck. Oh, no. I don't think I like the wonky handle anymore. Good eye, Jesse. Ooh, it's $19.99. These have been really expensive when I've seen them at thrift stores lately. Stone. It's nice. What is this? What is this? Stone? Some good. kind of black marble or soapstone. It's pretty though. Not to, for 20. Huh, I wasn't expecting the blue. I don't know, I don't know what I was expecting, I like but. The surprise you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting the blue. Those are new, but they're nice. Lanterns. This would be good to have outside on the back patio. $5.99. Not dishwasher safe. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, made with safe paint. No. <laughs> I was just going to laugh if they're dishwasher safe. You can chew on that and you'll be fine. Mm, sounds, sounds tasty. Hey, is that for poker? Would that be a cool gift for Ellery? Those are sweet. I think he just has his uh, cards stacked. No. Well, he's got so many playing cards. This only fits two. Oh, guys. I meant chips, sorry. I think he just kind of has them stacked. I don't think he has a case for them. No. Let me look up how much they go for, first of all. And if they're not very expensive, maybe we'll wait since Christmas was literally a few days ago. I kind of like this, though. I could wood oil it, clean it up. Okay, let's see how much they're worth. I heard an ooh and a hold on, but I don't know what it is. Oh, Pioneer. $20 for the set. $20 for the set? That a good price? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you're that rat. I, you know what? I got a garage full of speakers. I should you do have a garage full of speakers. You should probably not. I'm not going to give you an opinion one way or another if you want to add to your pile. <laughs> Y'all got our things. This is gonna sound crazy. <laughs> I don't worry about with this already. You do not. You no. do not. So they're Mikasa. They're Sunshine Harvest. Okay, so I don't like Matchy Matchy, and I don't like this because of that ring. But this whole stack of plates is only $9.99, and I think this would be so fun to do a little summer table setting, spring or summer. So I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna do a little table setting with them. It's very different. It's something I would normally never pick up. I think it could be really fun and colorful. <laughs> and Jesse's take. It's January, not summer. I think that's why I'm attracted to it because I'm dreaming of summer. Dude, we were just talking about wanting a fireplace in our basement. <laughs> a vintage electric fireplace. A vintage electric fireplace. Holy cow. This is actually valuable. And awesome and exactly what we said we were just wanting. Super oh, thrift geez. for the win. $50. Oh my Lanta. And it's guaranteed to start a real fire. <laughs> I hope not, but it's so cheesy and perfect for what we're doing in the basement. Whoa. Oh, hold oh, on. Oh. It comes off? Well, yeah. I just want to see how heavy it was. It's all just fiberglass. Oh, this is so like rad, babe. This is so rad. Super thrift for the win again. Come on down to Super Thrift and you'll find yourself a mid-century electric Montgomery Ward fireplace. And hopefully it doesn't short out and cause a real fire. It better not. It is grounded, which is pretty good. Okay. Which means it's a little bit safer. I hope so. This has a heater too. Oh, it doesn't just have the no, little No, it doesn't just glow logs. light. It oh. actually is an electric heater 
Cool. That will actually warm the space. But we're not going to use that. We actually, the one place we don't need extra heat is our basement. I won't. That's the part that's I won't bore you with the whole story, but let's just say it's very toasty down there and then not so much on the third floor. <laughs> but anyways, we're excited because we have been kind of in talks about what we want to do with this space. We did a little bit of a gussy up when we first got the place. It doesn't need full on remodeling. The original parquet floors do need a sanding, but we decided to keep the wall paneling. We got two amazing mid-century modern wall units that we have in there. They're bookshelves. We got those from an estate sale last year. It's a beautiful space. We got an awesome couch off Facebook Marketplace. We love it. We watch all of our TV in that space. When we have family over and we're watching TV, we watch it down there. But we really want it to feel a little bit more like a time capsule. And so this is exactly what we needed for that space. I know. I'm really excited. My grandparents had something similar. They did? Yes. Aww. Well, they had like a, they had a real fireplace in their house, uh -huh. but for some reason they didn't use it for like real fire. And they had like one of those little electric log things sit, that sitting has inside a little and it would just like rotate the light and like glow. And then they had the two like beautifully hand painted garden domes for some reason inside, flanking each side of the fireplace. We'll have to show you the garden. I've got them. You yes, you have them. I there have the in gnomes. your office. Yes, so we might have to. You might have to let me stage this one. Uh, hoo, hoo, but you can do everything. Hoo, 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 hoo. But you got to work the gnomes into. <laughs> the gnomes got to be there. So. I love the gnomes and we're keeping the gnomes till the end of our days. The gnomes are not going anywhere, but I was kind of thinking we could build them a little tree house in the backyard in the woods. Those can't go outside. No, we build them a house. They'd have their own house. The gnomes would have their own tree house. I'm dead serious no. about this. Those, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're gonna go by the fireplace for a moment. For sure for a moment. We'll just show it. And then I'll build them a house. I like woods. them in my office because they got a good spot there. Your That's office, I, I love your office for you. It's got a wild mixture of sentimental things and that's wonderful. It is. Here's the deal. The gnomes do have a lot of colors in them and that gives me a lot of options for accent colors and things to pull from. I can work with the gnomes, I can do this. We'll just we'll just set them there and just see how it fits. Okay, if I can make those plates work, work I can make work. the gnomes work. If the gnomes don't work, the gnomes don't work. But at least we I can get a gnomes. photo with the gnomes. Yeah. Just, I don't know, it'd really make the gnomes happy, I think. <laughs> you think they're bored up there just sitting with you while you work? They spent like 60 years next to a fireplace. Oh, okay, now the gnomes are going to the fireplace. Now they, at least, they miss their home. I think I'm actually crying. Like, I think I just had a tear. They miss their home. That's really sweet, The gnomes babe. miss the home. This is really sweet. We are headed to Oregon City Antiques, which is down the hill from Super Thrift in Oregon City. And this is where I got that incredible hutch not that long ago. Are you going to buy another... 500 pound dresser that we're gonna have to haul out of a basement of an antique store. We did have to do that. Um, I probably will not, but if there's a really awesome one, I might. Unfortunately, they are closing early today, and so we've only got 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna kind of show you really quickly how awesome this store is. Do you really? Oh, you, know, you just, I just heard a challenge, and I'm gonna do it right here with one item. It is this because it was, it is fantastic. It's one of my bucket list items. I knew I just, I remember it from last time, and I knew it was gonna so be here. You said, let's see how much money we can spend. And I mean, I heard the guy. <laughs> You did not see is that coming. Tag? Is it half off? <laughs> you did not see that coming. I did not. Yeah, you had that quick to. Yeah, sometimes I'm quick you about that in your back pocket. I got, I got my wits about me today. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. I'm ready to shop. <laughs> yeah, so that's a uh, Jean Byron candelabra, and it's one of my bucket list dream finds, but not unfortunately in my budget here. It's actually worth quite a bit more than that, too. No way, Jesse. No, no. This you, is the no. You guys, what is happening? I've never seen another this one in my the whole. No, the guys there too. No, Jesse. Are they like meant to come home with our gnomes and be best friends? Not for seven hundred dollars. Oh, plus your grandmas are your grandmas. But look, you guys. 
That is actually kind of creepy. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do like the color palette of these kind of crusty well, gnomes. These have been outside. You wanted to throw my <laughs> gnomes outside. This is what they would become. No, I was gonna build them a house. Just wait till everyone gets to see the gnomes we have and how beautiful they are because they lived inside. They were indoor gnomes. Indoor gnomes, kind of like our cats. Indoor gnomes last longer than outdoor gnomes. <laughs> Usually I'm really talented at speed thrifting, but this is like next level speed thrifting. I don't think I'm gonna have time to find anything. What? They've got the logs? Remember I told you they just had the fireplace and then the logs went inside and then those were on the side. So these were the logs? But the other one we just bought does have logs in it, right? Yes. Totally. Okay, so we don't need it. No, we don't. But that is kind of interesting because we're seeing it all. Gnomes, mm -hmm. fireplace, all of it. Okay, we're only four minutes in, so I think we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna go downstairs and do a quick sweep. Gearheads, is that Gearheads. a car reference? Yeah. When we got married, we took our wedding pictures in his dad's Sunbeam. What year is it? 66. 66 Sunbeam. That was my brother's we were in. Just kidding, we were in his brother's. His dad has the Sunbeam too. It's hard to keep them straight. We were just talking about how we really missed vintage wrapping paper from estate sales and we hadn't gotten any for this year. Yeah, I think that stuff like would be awesome. The groceries. <laughs> A department store. Oh, were they gift wrapped for you? So they had it on giant rolls? Or, I don't know. From a, they look mm, like I cats. like it. I like it. I like the horses. Let's do it. Seriously? We'll have Christmas wrapping paper for the next 15 years. I don't know. If we need It'll be our trademark for horses. There is no way you're going to use the same wrapping paper every Christmas. Oh. I just don't see you doing that. Okay, good point. I do like to do a kind of a theme. Yeah. Good point. The red goes with almost everything. <laughs> We've sold these before. I actually think we kept that coffee table for a while. They've got the end tables too. Oh yeah. It was a long time ago. I remember having the end tables. I don't remember having the coffee table. That was like 15 coffee tables ago. This is my friend Bridget's face. She has such good taste. All right, that's it. I think we're out of time. I had to fix my hat. He keeps calling me. What'd you call me, <laughs> Chef Boyardee? Yeah. <laughs> so I got to flatten it now. I'm all insecure. I told him I'm gonna put a little stitch in there to kind of like hold it down because it does look a little <laughs> like a little Mario. Like Mario and Luigi. Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately they were closing early because it's New Year's Eve, which is awesome for the employees. I'm happy for them. But we only had a few minutes to shop, so we just kind of took a quick zoom through the store. Yeah. But it's that's a cool okay. store. Never really shopped it before. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. Yeah. I want to shop. It was cool. Yeah, you saw a lot of things you were looking at. Yeah. But now we're at Goodwill. That's always a good thing. So I think this is gonna be our last stop for the day. I don't know what else could happen. I mean, we already found the gnomes. We already found a fireplace. Never know. Maybe we're gonna find that Batosi. I still dream about my Lisa Larson when I found that for $4.99. Like that was one of the best moments of my life. Lisa Larson cat, wedding day. <laughs> What's, where do these order? Yeah, <laughs> Sparse shelves. Another insulator. Hey, we did see another insulator. $4.99, same price as the last one. We had a lot of people, I think, ask in the comments why we didn't buy it. And we just don't buy everything every time if it's just not something that we typically it's collect. It's not our or... thing. I couldn't tell you if $4.99 is a good deal on this or a bad deal. Because like you said last time, they go they There's go rare ones. Trends. There's really rare ones that I know are very valuable. I just don't know them. Same thing with like the Pyrex bowls. We see them, but we're just not into them. And so we leave them for other resellers that we know are gonna get really excited about them. 
So that's my karma that I'm hoping that means they're gonna leave the Potosi for me. I like this glass. It's got the little bubble in the bottom like some of the Norwegian and Scandinavian designers. It's $3.99, just came out recently. It's nice and thick. Look how thick the glass is on that. Yeah. I love that. I think that's really pretty. It's kind of got like a smoked, almost amber color to it, just a little bit. Yeah, that's really pretty, $3.99. work with my little plates. These are vintage. These are kind of pretty. We good on napkin holders? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a lifetime supply of that and Q-tip holders. Oh, oh, they know I love Q-tip holders. <laughs> That's no secret. Everything can become a Q-tip holder or a toothpick holder or both. This one's interesting. It almost looks like click a tap pottery, but it's not. Yeah. But it has that same kind of finish and glaze and coloring. realized I think I passed that brass lamp and didn't realize that was a lamp. Let's go look at that. It's a little art deco. Is that a candlestick? Yeah. Oh, it is. That's pretty great. 15. Ooh, yellow's half off. half off. Yay, let's get it. Is that a good deal still? Half off? Good enough for me. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a different kind. It's a different style for you. But... I've been finding lots of this Bob Mackie clothing lately. It's only $9.99. It's got fun colors on this one. Doesn't look like it has any flaws. That's a great deal. We got a few things, not a lot, but definitely worth a stop. You never know when you go into a Goodwill if you're gonna do well like we did at the first one or if you're gonna walk out with nothing. So at least we didn't walk out completely empty handed. You got your fireplace. I'm excited about the fireplace. I'm excited for you. It's gonna look cool. I'm excited for you. I know. Lorenzo's very curious as to what that little noise is. Look at this. It's like we have a fireplace. So funny. It's kind of cuter than I thought it was going to be. I'm just so happy it works. I think we might need to lube the motor or something. That might be what the sound is. Oh, and then it'll be quiet? Or is it supposed to sound like flickering fire? I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> as a heater, I don't want to turn it on because we're never going to use it. And, you know, I don't really want an electric heater from... I don't know, 1960 or something. <laughs> I can't believe how good of condition everything is, though, honestly. Now, I really do think it's cute. I think this is great. I think it's missing something. Oh, no. Oh, geez. You can go here. <laughs> right, this thing. I don't know what you were thinking there. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. All right, those are pretty darn cute. There you go. Those are pretty darn cute. A home for the gnomes. Thank you so much for hanging out with us on New Year's Eve. I know this video is going to come out a few days later, but today for us right now, it's New Year's Eve. So you're technically hanging out with us. You actually went back in time. And Ryan Seacrest, if you're watching this, <laughs> give us a call next year. 
we'll thrift Times Square. Oh, that would be Ryan fun. Ryan Seacrest. And Let's do it. I've always wanted to go. See, now you just opened up like a giant can of worms okay. because I have always wanted to go to New York City for Christmas and New Year's. See, I can't mention anything. <laughs> Not if it includes travel. Here's to 2024. 2024 is going to be an awesome year and we can't wait to explore this country and this world with you and find lots and lots of treasures. Good year. Good year. Good year. It's been Have a good fun. year. It's been a good year and it's going to be a great year. Thank you for being a part of our lives. That was kind of dramatic. Wow. <laughs> Let wow. me redo that one. <laughs> Sound like a <laughs> like a goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being a part of our lives. Thank you. Just, yeah. Thank you for thank being you. a part of your life. Yeah. Thank it's, you for it's great. For a great year. Yeah. I'm getting all sentimental. Yeah. Oh, it's been a good year. It's been a really it's good a, year. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. I think that we're in a really, really just ha we're happy. We're content. We're really happy. And it's not always the case. Not everything you see on screen and on social media is the full picture. A lot of times we all just get the highlight reels of everything. So it's, I'm really grateful for this year and I'm really grateful for all of you. So thank you. Happy New Year's. Is this my, my out? <laughs> That's his out. Okay. He's gotten out. Yeah. Wait, why is it backwards on the we backwards what's no, happening it's when it films you it reverses us yeah oh man so it we're doesn't gonna, weird you out we're gonna be because you're used to looking floppy. at yourself in a mirror so it like yeah because sometimes my nose rings on the other side depending on what i'm filming with if i'm filming with my phone or if i'm filming with i have a vlog camera sometimes my nose rings on the opposite side of my face and it weirds me out if i'm editing that and i see that these are <laughs> Great story. It was a riveting little look into your life. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes of Laura. That everyone had in the 60s. But not the gnomes. Or not the gnomes. Not the gnomes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The gnomes are on your mind. I think the gnomes are going to be on the fireplace because I can't stop, you can't talking stop about thinking the about the gnomes now.